Joining us now to dive further into this new reporting is Dr. Peter J. Hotez, co-director of the Texas Children's Hospital Center for Vaccine Development, as well as dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine at Baylor. Dr. Hotez, thank you so much for your time here. We'll just start off with the fact that you are skeptical about this new report. Tell us why. Well, the, the reason is, is it's based on two back-to-back -back papers published in Science Magazine, one of our most important scientific journals, clearly showing that the initial cluster of cases all centered around a uh, wet market uh, in, in Wuhan, which is the expected mo mode of transmission of coronaviruses in China. That's how SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome, back in 2002 is believed to emerge. And this is similar, that the cluster of cases all around uh, the wet market, um, probably through a second intermediate uh, animal, potentially a raccoon dog or other uh, uh, animal host like that. And that's the expected route of transmission. And that's what we see at the cluster of cases. If this virus were to have uh, originated from a lab leak in, in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which is about, I understand, about 10 kilometers away and, and, and on the other side of, of the Yangtze River, you would have expected that there'd be a random occurrence of cases all over uh, Wuhan, and you wouldn't see that same cluster in, in uh, just from that um, one outbreak in, in, at the in, from the wet lab. So. It, that that doesn't uh, make any sense. What's more is most of the intelligence agencies uh, support the the wet lab. I'm sorry, not the wet lab. The um, wet market theory as well that this virus jumped from animals uh, to people, and so to, quite honestly, the the energy labs are are at variance with most of the uh, intelligence agencies, and even they say with with low confidence. Right. So, uh, so well, I'm well, not... Dr. Hotez, I mean, if, if it's wrong, why why is the Energy Department, why is the FBI, you know, agreeing and and then releasing this information? Good question. I, I I don't know the answer. I you know I don't I haven't seen the report. I understand it was a leaked um, a report, so I don't know what what the energy guys are looking at. The energy lab is looking at. And, you know, potentially they have access to intelligence data that's not available in the public. And and if I saw that intelligence data, maybe I would change my mind. But at least from the publicly available information, overwhelmingly, the in, the data report points to uh, animal origin, natural origin, with the um, wet markets being the, the epicenter of this epidemic. Okay, so, so based on, on this new information, though, you know, again, low confidence reports, that it, it did originate from this lab leak. We know from Blake's reporting that we just heard there, there are 69 labs around the world equipped to handle life-threatening diseases. So, so talk about the type of risk that that potentially poses. Well, you know, it, it, it works both ways. Remember, um, the COVID-19 is the third major coronavirus pandemic of, of this century. We had severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, which was a devastating coronavirus that affected southern China and Toronto in 2002. Then we had Middle Eastern respiratory syndrome in 2012, now COVID-19. And so Mother Nature's not being coy here. She's telling us she's going to hurl a major coronavirus epidemic pandemic at us every seven years or so. And on that basis, we should expect another major coronavirus pandemic before the end of this decade. Yeah. And we need the virologists to be in a position to do the surveillance, to do their studies in order to monitor it, in order to provide the sequences, in order to develop uh, new vaccines. And, and it's because we had the virologists you know, on the ground that we're able to get the sequence of COVID, the COVID-19 virus so quickly. It came up on BioArchive um, on, on the internet in January of, of 2020. And that's how we were able to make our yeah. COVID vaccine that's been administered to a, 100 million doses. So you need the virologists in the front lines. And and by the right. way, it's not just coronaviruses, right? We have avian flu, zoonotic flu. So we, so we, we need to have Yeah, that we need the research and we certainly need the information. Uh, Dr. Peter J. Hotez, uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.